Uh, through CAS, I think that I started many projects in, um, for creativity, for action and service. And uh, through CAS, I learned um, what it means to, um, I, how I would put it, fully live your life, I think, because uh, not only living it for yourself, but for others, and also not just following a schedule that you go home and you uh, then you go back to school and then all, all, of, all over again. But I also found out what it means to just um, live every day as if it was the last day of your life. And I think that uh, through, um, also through service and through um, action and through creativity, I learned uh, what it means to be myself, not to compare myself to others, but show myself how I can develop and um, do my own um, development, my own progression, my own improvements. And I think I want to start with uh, my service projects, uh, because I think that these were one of the most challenging ones. Uh, for example, Children's Home or the project Jinjiemi, or the vigil for the real deal, because it required for me a lot of self-motivation, a lot of perseverance, and it made me uh, more aware of uh, all the ethical considerations. Uh, in the children's home, I um, saw that children um, there uh, were not as everybody I met during um, my life, as uh, people that I usually have, have contact with. They, I saw that they were um, confused and lost, I think, because they didn't really follow the values that are considered, um, I know that's of course GOK and bias and everything, but which are generally considered um, to be the highest, should, which should be the highest um, moral values, and they followed, um, and they, um, they were not very willing to cooperate and um, they were really full of anger and very bitter and the language they used was um, I think just to imp not only to impress their peers but also um, themselves I think and to convince themselves that they, <coughs> they are really valued in their society and to please others. But I, while working with them, I found that, um, for example, I had a group of boys which I was working for three hours, three and a half hours. I was there with them. They were sick boys and um, I had to take care of them. They were between seven and eight years old and um, they were really nasty to me and they really behaved um, terribly and I, I really couldn't handle them. But when I was so frustrated, I was going out. The one of the boys came up to me and asked uh, when I'm coming back, which shows that they felt extremely lonely. And um, although they acted completely on the contrary as I would ask them to, they they really needed my um, my help. And that was, I think, uh, that showed me um, that it's not only what I see, but also there is some deeper idea there. And um, also in Jemi uh, and in video, the video for the Real Deal, I engaged in issues of global importance and I developed a skill of, um, I think I mm, kind of developed a skill of convincing people um, of what I think is important and um, <coughs> of global warming, for example, uh, and how it affects um, us and the world. And I learned myself about uh, the different recycling techniques, for example. Um, the creativity projects that I undertook were Spanish lessons and um, Carmoon. And then on Spanish lessons, um, I learned a lot about Spanish culture. And um, I, um, I became a better communicator in that language. And I uh, engaged in activities, group activities. Um, for example, we worked um, at, each, at the end of each chapter, we worked on um, a task together. For example, we made a f um, schedule of a festival, theatre festival. And I also, it, um, Spanish, uh, 
a lot of uh, required a lot of uh, commitment from me because I had to prepare for the examination. I wrote, um, I was, um, I made, took around eight tests before that, like mock tests, and I wrote about sixteen essays altogether. And I feel that it really paid off because I passed these exams with high grades. Um, and uh, during Carmen, I also made lots of. Um, I met a lot of interesting people, but I also, because of making so many embarrassing mistakes, I think that I've learned uh, how it's um, how it is to perform uh, in front of other people and um, how how it is to think on your feet. <laughs> uh, and I also uh, took many activity pro uh, activity projects. Actually, it was uh, one, but it was very huge because I. Um, practiced athletics um, for two uh, or three times a week for two hours um, each training and uh, but I think that my commitment and perseverance really paid off because I took part in at the end in many competitions and uh, first uh, I took part only in one um, part on I ran 100 meters of hurdles um, and first I made about five steps between each hurdle and that took longer time because then I improved, I uh, changed it to four steps and then three steps and that uh, I reached about 20 seconds and uh, I got a um, medal for it and I really think that um, my sp the sport uh, I undertook, um, it made me feel more successful I think and also I think that sport is not only about winning because my timing was not the best. Uh, but I think it's also about um, proving to yourself that um, some things are not impossible and it really, uh, sport really improved also my concentration, memory and I learned a lot about myself. So, yes, that's all I think. Thank you.